All right, guys, today what we're going to do is we're going to draw the Romero Brito style elephant. Romero Brito is a Spanish artist who is known for his um, crazy colors and patterns that are all over normal things, okay? So we're going to draw this elephant today. We're going to add a little bit of detail in the background that's not surrounding this elephant, but here's an idea of what your elephant is going to look like. Okay, so as always, I'm going to start with a Sharpie. You're going to draw with a pencil. I'm going to keep my paper vertical, which means that my sides are longer than my top and my bottom. Okay, so we're going to start a little bit above the middle, and I'm going to actually start with my elephant's eyes. Okay, so I'm going to draw two ovals, and I'm actually going to go ahead and color them in. And if they're not exactly the same size, because you can see that mine are not, you can always add a little bit to make them about the same size. Okay, here we go. So above our eyes, we're gonna draw a curve. Okay, that's gonna be the top of our elephant's head. Now, off to the side, we're gonna start um, about two finger lengths down from your eye. And I would just put a dot. And you can do the same thing on the other side. This is where we're gonna start to draw our trunk. Okay, now the trunk is a little bit tricky, but it's not as tricky as you would think. Okay, you just have to pay attention to your lines. Okay, so we're going to start at this dot, and I'm going to draw a curve that comes around and up. Okay, so if you rotate your paper, it's like half a heart or a backwards question mark. Okay, easy way to do it if drawing this curve is a little bit difficult. Okay, so on the other side, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to draw a little curve down, but I'm going to follow that same curve that I just drew. And I'm gonna close it off. There's my elephant's trunk, okay? Now, on top of that, from my trunk, I'm gonna draw two lines that come out. Now, this is gonna be the bottom of your elephant's ear, okay? From the curve that you drew first, you're gonna come up and down. Okay, we're gonna do that on both sides. Up and down. There's your elephant's head. We are almost finished drawing this thing. From the bottom of your ears, we're gonna draw two lines that come down. Now you wanna make sure that you don't hit the sides of your trunk, leave a little bit of space for your trunks, okay? We're gonna draw two lines that come in. I'm gonna bring that one over a little bit more. And then I'm gonna just draw it up to the trunk. Okay, so that means the bottom of our elephant is actually going to be hidden, like our elephant's belly is hidden behind his trunk. Now, something that Romero Brito is known for is he takes his animals and he divides them into different sections and then colors a different pattern in those sections. Okay, so that's what we're going to do as well. Down here on the feet, kind of to the middle, I'm going to draw two letter V's and then I'm going to connect them to the edge of my elephant's body. Those are his feet. So then up here, and this is where you kind of get a little bit of free reign, you can divide your elephant into whatever sections you would like. You can divide it, um, just draw lines to divide your sections. You can make big sections, small sections. It doesn't really matter. Kind of up to you how you would like it to be. Okay. I'm gonna actually draw a section there as well. Okay, now inside the different sections, we can do different patterns, okay? So maybe I'm gonna do um, circles over here. Maybe in this section, I'm gonna do some triangles. Some of them you can leave just blank and you can just straight up color them. That's totally fine too. Um, something that Ramiro Brito is known for is his really cool um, patterns that he does with just simple shapes like dots and lines and here's one that has like squiggles and pie shapes um, So I'm gonna do some of those as well um, on this leg I think I'm actually gonna do the pie shapes and those are as easy as Drawing a line and writing the number 16 or writing the number 16 and drawing a line Kind of up to you how you whoop, I forgot to put the curve on that one how you want to do it um, You don't have to do this pattern if you don't want to um, over here, I'm going to do, maybe I'm going to do some stripes. Okay, down here, maybe I'm going to do a checkerboard pattern. It's up to you how you would like your elephant to look. Now, um, I'm going to do a heart up here. And I'm going to draw some lines around it. 
Now, something that we didn't get to see in the example is that Ramiro also does um, a crazy background with his animals, okay? So um, I'm going to do one more pattern. Okay, so what he does is he'll take his background and he'll divide it. He'll draw from his animal or whatever character he has drawn, and he draws a line to the edge of his paper. You could make this look like ground if you wanted to. He could, your elephant could be in the jungle, but the jungle is surrounded by different patterns. Okay, so maybe over here I'm going to draw maybe the sun, and there's rays coming out from my sun. Okay, um, over here, maybe I'm going to do some squiggle lines. Maybe those are vines in the jungle. Um, maybe over here, I'm going to do um, just some regular stripes. Maybe I'll just do some stripes up here. Up to you how you want to do your patterns in the background. But your entire paper does need to be completely colored. This example will be up on the board. Um, so that you have a little bit of inspiration if you're ready to color this one. But after you get all your patterns done, make sure that you get some colors and make it colorful.